Well, welcome back everybody. And it's no secret that I love Palm Springs and the history to it and, and well Sinatra and the Rat Pack. I've always been a fan, always growing up. My dad, big fan of Dean Martin, myself, Sinatra. But Dean was cool, Dean was always so cool. So I thought what we'd do today, since I've been to all the, the graves and since the Rat Pack was so known in Palm Springs, I'll show their graves. I've been to their graves. Uh, Dean Martin's buried up in Westwood. Sammy Davis is buried in Glendale. Frank Sinatra rests out here over in Cathedral City. So we're going to go over there too. But besides just going to their graves and showing their graves, I'm going to have to clip those in because obviously it takes some time traveling from Palm Springs up to the LA area. I'm going to also show their houses. So where they stayed while they were in Palm Springs, you know, this was always a, a place known for the, the movie stars and the the different rich and famous people to be out in kind of a, a playground away from Los Angeles. Directly behind me, Sammy Davis's house. We'll start with Sammy, Mr. Entertainment. Let's go. On this gloomy day in March out in Palm Springs, we're right by Palm Drive, which is directly down the street. You can look this uh, address up online. It's actually fairly easy to find. And sometimes the gate is open, but Today, it doesn't look like it is. I'm not gonna get into the history and the design of it, but this is Sammy Davis's house. This is where Sammy Davis Jr. would have resided at. Probably looks pretty similar to the same as well as when Sammy was here. It's kind of cool to see that. The address is 444. I thought we'd walk down to the other side and you can see the neighbors around it lift up over the fence. Thank you, Selfie Stick, for showing everyone. It looks like a lot of it's just original here. So next I want to show you Sammy Davis Jr.'s grave. And then from here we're going to hit up Dean Martin's house and finally Frank Sinatra's Twin Palm Estate. So here we are in Glendale at the Forest Lawn. And I just wanted to show you guys this because this is not often seen, but here we are. We are at the Davis Memorial. And right below us, the entertainer, he did it all. December 8th, 1925, May 16th, 1990. Your loving wife, Alta V's, and father, Tracy, Mark, Jeff, and Manny. Rest in peace, Sammy Davis. Sammy Davis Sr. right here as well. Passed away in 1988. And directly in the corner from here is actually Walt Disney. Beautiful. Sammy Davis. Well, we've made it over to Mr. Cool's house. We're at Dean Martin's and Sad to say, I gotta figure somebody bought this place, but it doesn't look like they're doing anything to it. Uh, in the past, I've done other videos on here where, actually I went in the backyard and was able to go back there, it was all open. Somebody stole his mailbox, but this is Dean Martin's house, him and his wife Jeannie. It looks like they're doing a little bit of work on it. A little carport garage, really cool pool in the back too. Um, maybe they're having people break in as people do nowadays and you get these people just seeing something left behind or desolate and they squatters come but I know inside it still has the original stoves right there in the kitchen as you can see to the right those little windows are the kitchen the original wallpaper as well I think it's a three or four bedroom um, and you can see kind of directly behind Lift that back up over the fence. Directly through here, you can see the pool in the background. And the pool's about an 11 foot, or 11 foot. It's like a nine foot pool. It's, it's really a deep pool for a California pool. It's so old school style, but. Rest in peace, Dean Martin. As I said, he's buried up in uh, Westwood, a really easy cemetery, an easy place to find Dean Martin with the Everybody loves somebody sometimes on his final resting place. So we've made our way over to the Sanctuary of Love. Right here, we have this big tree as you come in. 
Come in, make a left, go all the way down, loop around, Sanctuary of Love, Dean Martin. June 7, 1917, passed away, Christmas Day, 1995. And as it's noted here, everybody loves somebody sometime. Rest in peace, Dean. So here we are. We made it to 1145 Via Kalisa. Now this was Frank's first house where he lived with Ava Gardner. We're actually walking in the back of the house. The main drag, there was nothing out here back in the day when Frank moved here. And so the main drag where you would enter is actually on the other side. We'll go over there real quick. Like I said, I've done videos on this house many times. So if you ever want to see the inside, just look up my videos with Frank Sinatra. The Sinatra res residence, completed in 1947. And this is a well-known architect, E. Stuart Williams. Yep, Sinatra's. And I've pointed this out many times. So this walkway goes into the house. The skylights are on the walkway for a reason because the pool, it's shaped like a piano. There it is. Yes, it's, and so when the sun comes through, it looks like the piano keys all the way down. But yeah, that is the first Sinatra house out here. Named Twin Palms. And the reason for that, those two guys that are still standing. I'm gonna swing around to the front. I've been here many times and it just occurred to me, I never show this angle of the house and I don't know why, but off to the right here where these trees are, that's where uh, his tennis courts were in the past. But yeah, this is a kind of an interesting other angle to check out twin palms and the palms look awesome. We made it to the front of the house. And so this side would be 1148. So the other side was 1145, but the gate is actually open, which is kind of cool. So you can kind of see inside with the unobstructed view. Usually you don't get to see it this way, but yeah, this is Sinatra's residence from the front. Now we're gonna head over and we're just gonna check out his final resting place. And maybe we'll swing by Rancho Mirage where it was really Frank Sinatra's compound. Why not? Real quick, I wanna show one more time. Yeah, anybody can stop by here. So Frank, Sammy, and Dean were all within a couple miles from each other. Very easy to get to, very close. To imagine the parties they had. Quick note too, just because I stopped by this coffee place, check this out. All right, we're on our way to see Frank, but I thought this was kind of fitting. We've got Dean, I got a kick out of coffee. I believe that's Peter Lawford, Frank. Maybe that's Peter Lawford, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter, we're here to see Dean, Frank, and Sammy. Well, last and certainly not least, we've made our way over to Francis Albert Sinatra's grave. So I've done plenty of videos on Frank out here, visited him tons and tons of times. Frank Sinatra called the Coachella, Coachella Valley and the desert his home for over 40 years, and now it's his final resting place. So, the point of all these videos today was to show just where the Rat Pack, Sammy, Dean, and Frank, and I know there's more, but these are the, the big guys. Where they lived out here, where they played, and now, where they're all passed away. So if you ever want to know, Find a Grave's a great source, you can always send me a message. Sammy Davis Jr. is up at Glendale, Forest Lawn, uh, Dean is out in Westwood, and Frank is at Desert Memorial right here in Cathedral City. So, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, always send me a message. I'd like to hear from you. And I'll see you next time. Also here at Desert Memorial is Barbara Ann Sinatra. 1927 to 19, or 2017, beloved wife, mother, and grandmother. Who rest directly next to Frank? And it looks like some people have been here. I know they just had the tennis championships here, and I know Frank and Barbara were big tennis advocates. But yeah, Francis Albert Sinatra. And as you can see, somebody's left him a dime. Frank was 
known for always carrying dimes around in his pocket after Frank uh, Sinatra Jr. was kidnapped. He always would have a roll of dimes just to be able to make a phone call from wherever he was. So, rest in peace, Frank. Sleep warm, Papa. We're going to uh, ask the audience, and we are going to join in in applauding both orchestras here tonight. I think that's swell. <laughs> really, magnificent job. Mr. John Pacey and the wonderful orchestra. And Quincy orchestra Jones, who conducted for me. And Please, George Rhodes. Would you stand up, ladies and gentlemen? George Rhodes. Michael Silver, stand up there. Mr. Quincy Jones directing there. Oh, you told him that? Well, you know, you have to explain it a lot because we all look alike. Let us pray. Uh, <laughs> dearly beloved... Oh, excuse me. I, hey, could we all finish by doing one not number... can we? May, May we? Not Sam. can we? May we? Never in the same way. May we, Sam? Not can we? <laughs> fight, 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 fight. Oh, if I find out that's true, my heart is broken. <laughs> May we? Can we? May we? Could we? Yeah, John, may we? we? Yes, sir. May we? That's French. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 